So, hello everyone, and today I'm going to teach you how to make the Dragon Cuff Scale Bracelet. This is how it looks when there are two colors in it. This has four colors in it, and this one has three colors in it. So you can make it ha um, how thick you want. This is when you use six. Yeah, six. When you use six of these, this is the thickness you'll get. And for beginners, I say use six. So that's why I'm going to show you how to make it out of six rubber bands today. I mean six pegs today. And then in my next video, I might show you how to um, make it with ten pegs. That means it will. Uh, there are five rubber bands. So, that's why I have two colors for starting. Let's get started. I wanted contrast colors, so this is what I chose. So, for your first three rubber bands, you have to put them here, from here to here, here to here, here to here. And for this, you need three S clips or C clips, a hook, two colors or how many ever you want, and a part of your normal loom so so for your first part you are going to put your first rubber band take it put it like a cross from here to here put it like a cross again from here to here and here to here now you don't need to put them like a cross you just need your other color which is going to be placed like this and like this Next, you're going to take your hook and pull the bottom rubber band on top. This is how it should look. Then do the same over here. Over here. And over here. It should always look like this, so in case it's going wrong, you have to remove it and put it back like this then you have to put three rubber bands of your first color again one two and three you have to put them straight like this then take the one from the bottom put it on top and then you get this so you get something like this and you have to pull it and attach your s clip or c clip and as usual i prefer s clips then you're supposed to take this green one on top and bring it out And this green one will come on top. The older one's bottom at the top. And if you get your rubber band like this, you just have to pull it again. Like this and put your second S clip or C clip over here. And for the middle part, this is where your last S clip will be going. Now we need to put two of your second colors like this from here to here and from here to here. Now you're going to pick up this rubber band and put it on top. Then take this rubber band, put it on top. This rubber band on top and this rubber band on top. Now you are going to take three of your first rubber bands. One, two, three. The bottom one on top. 
bottom one on top, bottom on top, bottom on top, and do the same everywhere. So if you pull these, you can see the bracelet forming, and it should form and then start looking a little bit like this, like the scales of a dragon. If you've seen an animated picture of a dragon, image. So it should. So I'm going to do this step a few more times. Then I'll show you how it looks when it's um, longer to your arm size or wrist size actually. of your first colors take all the organs at the bottom and put them on top Now push everything down and put your second, two of your second, the second color and two of your bands. And here to here and from here to here. This is a very easy bracelet and the thing is if you think it's a little hard and you're not able to do it, you can try it a few more times and that shall help. So you can see it forming like a cuff. So... I'm going to do this step for the last time and then I'll, I'll show it to you when it's larger. On top, put the one below, then put it on top. One below, on top, the one below, on top. The one below, on top, one below, on top. So you can see it forming like a cuff here. Here. This is how it should look when it's forming. So I'll be back when my bracelet is much longer and I'll teach you how to end the bracelet. Bye! I'm back and the bracelet is long enough. And the last step I did was put two of my second colors and hook the bottom ones up. So now the next last step we have to do is we have to get only three rubber bands up here. So to do that you have to put three of your first colors and then hook all of the rubber bands up so from the bottom to the top 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 and bottom to the top so after you're done with that um you so since we need to hook them, you can only see three rubber bands here, one, two, and three. And now since we're going to end the bracelet, you can pick this rubber band up and place it on top of this peg with the same rubber band. Then you can pick up this rubber band and place it on this So you can pick that rubber band up and place it on this peg where the same rubber band second part is there. And then you can pick up this rubber band. Or actually, you can pick up this rubber band and place it on this peg for it to be double. So we have three doubles here. 
So we can grab the first corner double, take this corner S clip, and and just put it inside of the S clip. Then we can take the middle double rubber bands and take the S the middle S clip and put it inside. Then we can take the last double rubber bands and grab the last S clip and put it in. So our bracelet is ready and I'm just going to wear it and show it to you how it looks. So we had a multi, we had two colors. So we had two colors and they both were multicolors. So the first rubber band was a multicolor blue, light blue and yellow. And the second rubber band was a multicolor green and yellow. And this is how the bracelet looks when you wear it. And it's beautiful. Hope you like this video and the like and subscribe button are right there waiting for you and you can, in the comments you can um, tell me how much you like this video and what type of bracelet would you want me to make a tutorial for. Bye!